Hi guys, good afternoon. What are the first aid? Medical coid pack, mask for breathing, CPR, brown ointment, antiseptic waves and swabs, fertilized coid bandage. Roll bandage. Hello, I'm going to be demonstrating how to wrap the wrist using figure eight technique for support. First, you're going to want to anchor just below the fingers. That way they still have full mobility of each finger. You don't want to take away any function there. As you change your direction, you don't want to pass between the thumb and the first finger more than two or three times because it begins to get bulky right here and limit uh, how much thumb adduction that they're capable of achieving. Once you cross the wrist joint, you can move out of the figure eight pattern and into more of a spiral pattern, which is appropriate for wrapping the long bone. And secure with a piece of tape. And just make sure that they have the function of the fingers. Go ahead and make a fist and back out. How's that feel? Good. And of course, check for capillary refill. You can press the nail bed and just make sure that they have good blood flow. In this health sketch, we want to talk to you about CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We use CPR when someone has collapsed and is not breathing, because it can keep people alive until emergency services arrive. Learning these simple life-saving skills is as easy as ABC. All you have to remember is the doctor's ABC. D is for danger. First. Look around carefully to make sure the area is safe for yourself and others before approaching. R is for response. Shake them gently by the shoulders and ask them loudly, are you alright? If there is no response, you need to. S. Shout for help, as any assistance will be helpful. A is for airway. Gently tilt the head back like this to open up the airway. B is for breathing. Look, listen, and feel for signs of normal breathing. Look for normal chest movements. Listen for normal breathing sounds and try to feel their breath against your face. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. If there is no sign of breathing or if they are breathing in an unusual noisy way, we need to start CPR. First, make sure that an ambulance is on its way. If you have someone with you, Ask them to make the call. Putting the phone on speaker mode is useful as the ambulance service can talk you through the steps. C is for circulation. Circulation means the flow of blood around the body and when the heart stops pumping, we need to take over this role by pushing down hard and fast on the chest. Start by placing the heel of one hand at the center of the person's chest and interlock your fingers like this. With arms straightened, press down hard and fast, letting the chest come back up fully each time. Fast means around two times every second. And hard means that the chest needs to go down by about five centimeters. This might sound a lot, but you do need to push hard for it to be effective. 
If you have been trained, you can give two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions, as this helps provide some oxygen. However, if you have not been trained or are not comfortable, just keep going with hands-only continuous chest compressions. If someone else is with you, swap over if you begin to feel tired and don't stop until either a health professional takes over or the person is definitely breathing normally.